Harlem Sonny Larry. Didn't you and he used to be the best of friends? We're still the best of friends. No, you're not. Who says we're not? Sit somewhere else. Now, if I've done something to you, just tell me what I've done to you. Well, you didn't do anything to me. I just don't like you no more. Did you like me yesterday? Why does he not want to be friends with you no more? Why is he 12? What the hell's going on with you, me feckin' brother? He's dull, Siobhan. But he's always been dull. The other night, two hours, you spent talking to me about the things you found in your little donkey shite that day. Well, it wasn't me little donkey shite. It was me pony shite, which shows how much you were listening. If you don't stop talking to me... Colin! And if you don't stop bothering me, I have a set of shears at home. And each time you bother me from this day on, I'll take those shears and I'll take one of my fingers off with them and I'll give that finger to you until I have no fingers left. Does this make things clearer to you? Not really, no. Starting from now. But shush like, Polly. You know, shush like. Yeah, I'd shush like. Would you not want him to have to do the one finger to see if he was bluffing like? No, we wouldn't. Because worse comes to worse, he can still play the fiddle with four fingers, I bet ya. Going back to your own gang now, Parry. I'm talking to me! Are you? Why aren't you talking to Parry no more? That wouldn't be a sin now, would it, Father? No, but it's not very nice either, is it? Do you know who we remember for how nice they was in the 17th century? Who? Absolutely no one. Yeah, we all remember the music at the time. Everyone to a man knows Mozart's name. I don't, so there goes that theory. Can't be waiting around for any more of this madness. Let's just call it quits. We won't call it quits. We'll call it the start. <laughs>